As I said, there are no, there are no uh, table place cards for people, but at the end of each table is a list of all the things that you have ordered. Because if you're anything like me... Oh, we're so organised, Mr. Secretary. <laughs> We are at the Avocado Soul Showers and the early Outgoing president to stand up and after breathing a great sigh of relief, <laughs> finally sees the shining light of having completed a satisfactory year with no more sleepless nights and return to normality. There's also the usual practice to say something nice about the incoming president. <laughs> but I can't think of anything <laughs> other than I know he has an extremely hard working, if somewhat overpaid, PA. <laughs> she, had, she has advised me that she will continue in this role as long as I take her shopping and do the washing up. <laughs> so, without, so with no further ado, I will now identify and introduce the new president. Now at this time the light should have gone out. <laughs> uh, that door. <laughs> Fellow Rotarians, friends of Rotary guests. I hope you're enjoying the evening so far, and Sue and I are delighted to see you at our handover dinner. Throughout the last year, one word sums up the achievements of the club, and that word is consistency. We've had a, full, a year full of fundraising at other events, all of which have been successful. The two new fellowship events proved very popular, and we hope to hold them again in the coming year. My aim for the coming year, with the help of my committees and fellows, is to maintain that consistency and success. When I say my aim, I mean, of course, the club's aim. And I've thought at length about how to sustain this achievement. Stop singing, man. Stop singing. Stop I can't hear for the music, I'm sorry. I should have thought you were serenading it. Sorry about that. Did I the shot team or is this a bit of the 19th? <laughs> One of the attributes of the club is its fellowship, and even in the trying times we've had, it has shone through making the club stronger. The club has its characters, 
<laughs> On a light-hearted banter, heard over lunch, is I think a good sign that all is well. Yeah? <laughs> in this ever-changing world, Rotary 2 is changing. One of the pillars of the change is the RIB five-year membership plan, which is now in its third year. At this moment in time, the main object is for each club to look at itself with the assistance of a district visioning team, and this will take place hopefully in early October, subject to getting a suitable venue. The club will be kept informed fully of, of when the date is fixed. It is vital that every fellow attends, makes a special effort to attend this meeting, because it is your club, and the outcome of the meeting will decide the future and very existence of this club. Because they've left us in no uncertain terms, and if they think they are there, being the, the um, visioning team are wasting their time, they'll tell us. And they'll disappear into the West. In September we are visiting our Rotary friends in Germany. That's all booked and taken care of. For the three-day visit to the Moselle Valley. We have an exciting year ahead of us, and I can assure you that the new senior vice and junior vice will do everything in in our power to maintain the good reputation of our club within the community and I thank you in advance for your support. Thank you fellows. Now we get to the exciting bit. It's going to be done in reverse order. A great pleasure in presenting to Pauline Leach a Friends of Rotary certificate. It's more than deserved in Poland. We will continue supporting the club as often as you can. We're going to keep right out of the sweet shops. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the next three awards are BGR, Plenty Good Rotarian, Rotarian of the Year, and of course the Paul Harris Awards. 18 months ago, when I knew I was going to be president, I decided with Sylvia to do a bit of a shortlist and see how the fellows performed over the 12 months in, their, in the consistency required for these awards to be presented. And we drew up a shortlist. Um, the coin of phrase, one fell off and another one jumped on. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go. Um, BGR, plenty good Rotary. One fellow in particular who's had, to say a difficult time, is an understatement. Yet, throughout the 12 months, his belief and desire in Rotary has shone through like a torch. And I have no hesitation in Rotary Club of Hornchurch and Upminster, BGR 2013-14, George Larkin. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the Rotarian of the Year Award. Now this is well earned. The person who, this is, who I've awarded this to has proved week after week after week their desire to see the Rotary Club of Hornchurch in Upminster grow, get stronger, get more involved with the local community and proceed forward. And again, I have no hesitation but to present this award to Christine Smith. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So you just keep... Well, I've now come to the evening. Sorry. The highlight of the evening. This Rotary Club is very proud of the high esteem it places before it awards anybody the Paul Harris Award. Some Rotary Clubs are quite cavalier about it and give them out like confetti. We certainly don't. We maintain the standard that we expect. In every organisation, you need people who know what they're doing, <laughs> particularly in relation to finances and in particular to the general administration and running of the club. Now, they can't do it on their own. They need help and assistance. The first one I'd like to award is to Jim Haynes. Yeah. Whoa. running of the club. They've supported their husband, who is in fact already Paul Harris Award holder. So it is with real, real pleasure that the Paul Harris Fellow Awardship goes to Jerry Fersland. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
close it. I'll say no this time. No, <laughs> I've tried it for 50 years, it didn't yeah. work. <laughs>